estimating a population mean when the population standard deviation is known. Now, if we somehow do know the value of the standard deviation, the confidence interval is constructed using the standard normal distribution instead of the student t distribution. So the same procedure can be used with this margin of error. We would say that the sampling or the margin of error is equal to the critical z value times the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. This is used again with a known population standard deviation. So choosing the correct distribution. Okay, on the conditions, <clears throat> if the population standard deviation is not known and normally distributed population or the population standard deviation is not known and n is greater than 30, then we use the student t distribution with the margin of error equal to the critical t value times the sample standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Now, if the population standard deviation is known and normally distributed population, or the population standard deviation is known and n is greater than 30, in reality, we know that the population standard deviation is rarely known, we would use the normal z distribution with the margin of error equal to the critical z value times the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size.